Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. By Izmir's beard, the nerve of those Imperial bastards, eh? To think that I would sit down at the same table with that. Thou more bitch. Either she walks or I do. You're right, the Thelmor have no business. Fuck the Thelmor. We agree on this. Very well, Alfred. Enjoy your petty victory. We're saving that. The Thalmor will treat with whatever government rules Skyrim. We would not think of interfering in your civil war. Ha! Skyrim will never bow to the Thalmor. Unlike your Imperial friends here. You're lucky I respect the Greybeard's council, Galmar. Legate, we represent the Emperor here. Sorry, sir. It won't happen again. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? Yeah, he's kind of being a I dick. I have something to say first. Oh my god, shut go. the fuck up. Seriously. The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the dragon menace. There's nothing else to talk about. Unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. Oh my god. I knew he wouldn't be We're able here to, to arrange a temporary truce to allow the Dragonborn here to deal with the dragons, nothing more. I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? Yes, let's get this over with. Are we ready to proceed? Jarl Ulfric. General Tullian. This council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar. Do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiations? Yes, let's get down to it. We want control of Markar. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. You're a dick. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Elisif. General, oh, this is goodness. outrageous. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Elisif, I said I'd handle it. Ulfric. You can't seriously expect us to give up Murkhart at the negotiating table. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. Yes, that'd be entirely What would the Empire character. want in return? Wait, General, you don't intend to just hand over Murkhart to that traitor? This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough. First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. You are a traitor to the Empire, and deserve a traitor's death. But I at least will negotiate in good faith. Since we're all here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth. Winter hold. Hmm, I actually have no clue. Winterhold? Why are we even doing this? In exchange for Marker, the source of most of Skyrim silver. Hardly. Riften seems like a better choice to me. Well fortified, easily resupplied from across Lake Honric. Plus all the mead we can drink. You're right. I'm glad you agree. I was starting to wonder whose side you were on here. Uh. The Dragonborn has spoken, Tullius. Markarth will be ours. Now we'll see if there's anything behind your talk with good faith. You disappoint me, Dragonborn. I accepted your invitation on trust in your good name. <sighs> but it seems you intend to favor Hulk. Really? I can see now that this is not a negotiation at all. I know you, Ulfric. If I hand over Markarth, you'll be ready with a new demand. You'll never defeat the Empire, and you know it. But you're willing to sacrifice thousands for your own selfish ambition. 
Soon enough, I'll have you back under the Hetman's axe, and this time there won't be any dragon to save you. As always, the Empire's fine words are worth nothing. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreement? Here you sit arguing about nothing, while the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphi? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me, and I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Alduin has returned, the world eater. Even now he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? I don't know about the end of the world, but this dragon situation has gotten out of hand. If this truce will help the dragonborn here put an end to that menace, we both gain. Remember that, Ulfric. Now, back to the matter at hand. You know as well as I do that we can't hand over Markarth on these terms. You see what talking to them gets us. Out with it, then. We want compensation for the massacre at Carthwaston. You slaughtered the very people you claim to be fighting for. True sons of Skyrim would never do such things. Damned Imperial lies. My men would never stoop to such methods, even in retaliation for your butchery. All the blood spilled in this war is on your head. So, Dragonborn. Oh, I don't like this guy at all. My God. Well said. For once, you'll actually pay for your crimes. I suppose that's the fairest deal we're likely to get. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius. These are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces, Jarl Edmund will step down, and Thangvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Markarth. The Stormcloaks will withdraw from the rift, allowing Imperial troops unhindered access. Jarl Leila Lawgiver will step down, and Maven Blackbriar will become the Jarl of Riften. The Stormcloaks will pay appropriate compensation for the massacre at Carthwaston. You both agree to this? The sons of Skyrim will live up to their agreements, as long as the Imperials hold... I still don't like you, Jagass. What about you, Alistair? Are these terms to your life? Speak up! I'm sure General Tullius is waiting to do your bidding. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Ellison. I appreciate your loyalty. The Empire can live with these terms, yes, for a temporary truce, until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. Come on, Galmar. We have a lot of work to do. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I... Markarth is a heavy price for this truce. I, no, 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 no. I don't, I, I don't agree with this. At all. I don't like this old fuck motherfucker. I really don't. It was worth it. Jarl Balgruf, I assume What's you are the Dragonborn. Do something. Yeah. yeah, I didn't think that would work. I just can't stand that guy. My god. Ugh. We may have killed hundreds of people, but. You're invading, so it's your fault. I assume you are familiar with the Dragon Ball. Yes, I'm ready to do my part. Just say the word, and my men will help you spring this trap. But the difficulty remains how to lure a dragon to Dragon's Reach at all. Well, that's an excellent question. You haven't overlooked that little detail, have you? Ah, I believe I can be. I anticipated the problem while you were arranging the 
Haven's meeting. I was busy in the library of Skyhaven Temple. An unguessed trove of lost gold. But the important thing is that the blades recorded many of the names of dragons they slew. Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites, I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Aldrin has raised up. How does that help us? Ah, don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power. Shouts. By calling the dragon with the voice, he will hear you wherever he might be. And how could he come? He's not compelled to, but dragons are prideful in nature and loath to refuse a challenge. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon. After your victory over Orphan, I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your call. Hmm. So what's this dragon's ah, name? Please. I'm no master of the voice, like these worthy gentlemen. But it is written here in the scroll. Oda Fiend. Winged Snow Hunter. Nice group getting up egg. Listen. Follow me. Yes, Lister. There's one more thing. We know about Parthenax. You know what? Parthenax. The dragon that the Greybeards have been protecting for all these years. He needs to die. He deserves to die. And it falls to you to kill him. Why? Until he's dead. Well, I'm sorry, but we would dishonor our oaths as blades if we continue to help you. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Make your choice, Dragonborn. You're either with us or against us. Why does he need to die? Here's the big picture. He helped Alduin enslave our ancestors. He may have betrayed Alduin in the end, but that makes him worse, not better. We can't afford to give Parthenax the opportunity to betray us in turn and return to his old master. I can't do that. I'm not gonna do that. He's a cool guy. He hasn't betrayed me. He hasn't said, oh, if you don't do this, I I'm gonna n never talk to you again. No, he's actually pretty much been a... I mean, a good friend to me, so, at least in-game. Why would I betray him now? That's dumb. She's dumb. Very dumb, actually. Do the right thing. I... That's... I don't even know. The Fallen. And uh, then I can interrogate the dragon. Where do I need to go? Oh, wait a minute. Dragon's Reach. The archery skill improves the use of bows and arrows. The greater the skill, the more deadly the shot. Good job, game. You kind of explained something that should have been off. But I don't know. I can't. I'm not going to kill Parath of Lulu. I'm not going to kill Lulu. He's been a good guy. Might not be able to say his name. He might be a dragon. But he's helped me this far. And I'm not gonna turn on them now. Blades and go suck their own dicks. Because Delphine's a woman that makes her a hermaphrodite. And that makes her the enemy. Goddamn sneezes. Oh yeah, I knocked all the plates around. Plus, well, you're lying. May the gods watch over you. As I promised, my men stand ready. The great chains are oiled. We wait on your word. Neat. I'm ready. My men know what to do. Make sure you do your part. I'm putting my city in your hands. Call him? Like right here? Shit. That power's shot. Oda Vink. Five, five, three hundred. Let's save before we do this. I don't want to have to have a five-minute cooldown. Oh, oh. 